The work of a cunning phone scammer targeting innocent South Australians has been caught on tape. Nine News has been played a recorded message which aimed to convince an old Norlunga man to pay a tax debt which didn't exist. When Brian Dunn checked his answering machine last night, he was confused to hear this. This is an automated system generated message from CDPP, Commonwealth Director of Public Prosecutions on behalf of ATO, Australian Taxation Office. The 81-year-old was then told that legal action was being taken against him. There is an arrest warrant out on your name. Your address registered with us is under surveillance because our attempts to notify you by registered letters have returned on site. He was told to call a hotline where presumably he would have been asked to pay a fake tax debt. I was quite surprised but then I thought this doesn't sound too good right to me. Luckily, before any money was exchanged, he realised he was the latest target of a new phone scam. What are you talking about? Linden Park resident Sally Dillon received the very same call. I was shocked and intimidated and I also felt threatened. She too was sceptical and made inquiries with authorities. The woman that I spoke to said that um, yes it was a scam and had been going for quite a while. Police released a statement today revealing they've received similar reports from dozens of South Australians. Their advice is to be on the lookout for potential scammers who operate not only over the phone but also via text message and emails. Emails like this one, which promises your tax refund if you reply it with full bank details. Ben Avery, Nine News.